My dad once said to me, Tragedy has a way of defining people. Chappaquiddick is one of the latest films to explore the dynastic, idealized Kennedy family, but the incident that inspired the film is anything but ideal. Today, as I mentioned, I felt morally obligated to plead guilty to the charge of leaving the scene of an accident. In the summer of 1969, Senator Ted Kennedy of Massachusetts was leaving a party on Chappaquiddick Island with Mary Jo Kopechny, who had previously worked on Robert Kennedy's presidential campaign. At some point, the car Ted Kennedy was driving overturned into a pond and sank. The senator was able to make it back to the surface, but Kopechny was not. I made immediate and repeated efforts to save Mary Jo by diving into the strong and murky current but succeeded only in increasing my state of utter exhaustion and alarm. My conduct and conversations during the next several hours, to the extent that I can remember them, make no sense to me at all. Kennedy didn't report the accident for 10 hours, and it's not clear why. A judge sentenced the senator to two months incarceration, which Kennedy never actually served. Many speculate that Kennedy was able to avoid more serious punishment because of his family name and political influence. Beyond the accident itself, that speculation is the basis for the Chappaquiddick film. A dead body holds a lot of secrets. Those can be the difference between guilt and innocence. That's what we need to be in control of them. Despite that speculation, Kennedy continued to serve in the Senate until his death in 2009, though some say the senator lost his chance at the White House, at least partially because of the incident at Chappaquiddick. Meanwhile, Mary Jo Kopechny has largely been forgotten. I really didn't know anything about this story, so reading the script for the first time was really quite thrilling and upsetting. But there isn't, you know, there's only so much information out there about her. Back in March, Kopechny's aunt told People magazine, for 49 years, people have wanted to know what happened. Maybe now, Mary Jo will be brought to the forefront and remembered not just for how she died, but for who she was. Chappaquiddick comes out in theaters April 7th.